Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews. In this review, we're going to take a look at Valor vs. Action Forces, the Bone Collector 112 scale action figure. Yes, this has been done before, but this is a Black Skies Reviews and it's different. So here we go. Here's the front of the packaging. Nice from the box scene figure and most of the accessories, the Action Force logo and the nameplate down at the bottom as well as the brand. Side of the box has a very cool artwork, black and white. Love that bone logo, it looks pretty cool. There's the other side of the box, Action Force logo at the bottom, Action Force there on the side. There's the top of the box. Bottom of the box. And in the back we have a cross cell across the top, QR code, for whoever that's for. We have the action points, make sure you save those. It may be used in the future. When we have the bone collector file card, looks pretty cool. I like the shape of the file card. That way it's easy to cut out. Let's take a look close up at the file card. You guys can pause and read that if you like. I think that looks pretty good. So you can pause and read that. Hold up for a couple more seconds. Give you the chance to hit the pause button. All right, man, let's get this guy out the packaging. He looks fantastic. Love the concept. So let's get to it. All right, here he is, man. We all thought the packaging, I must say. It looks pretty cool. A lot of used parts from like most of the figures just repainted. But I love the concept. I love the accessories. So let's get to it. Here's our boom collector. He is a white male. And we do have a bald head sculpt. Uh, it's like an older warrior. Nice face sculpt. Spread, expressionless. Decent painted eyes. Ears. All the human features that you want in the right spots. Shiny dome. Oh, uh, we have our vest here. It's a brown plastic. Then we have the gunmetal plates. Looks real nice for some metal work. Catches the light. Very cool. The strap across the chest contains some heavy rounds um, with black strap, gold tips up top, and then the, the front of the business end of these boys. Um, silver. Black straps across the top on both sides. Looks pretty decent. Back of the vest. We got a nice armor plate. Done in that same color. A hole for some kind of accessory. We have a nice sleet here. Pretty decent. In the back here while we're here, we do have this little piece here on his belt that's removable. You can stick some kind of knife, comma, whatever you want through there. Pistol. It's like a little stash spot. Straps here on the side. It goes to um, the vest. This piece here is part of the, is the belt. That's actually an optical illusion. But this strap is part of the vest. And that's a sculpted piece there. We have the gray and green camo. Looks really cool. On this side we have a thigh pad. Black straps. Silver plate. Two black magazine cases or silver two magazines that's removable. We'll look at here soon. Same deco for this side, but this side has the pistol case, gray knee pads, black boots, stomp a mud hole in you. Pretty cool. Nice looking figure. The thing I will say about this, you have to go ahead and heat up this figure. If you do get this figure, this is one of the most sought after figures in the Bioverse line. I've had it for a while. That's why it's kind of a late review. But, you know, time is of the essence. And here we go. Better late than never, I guess, right? Very, very cool. Nice figure. 360 look. Cool. This is a 1-6 scale figure, about 6.3 mm, 3 inches maybe. I didn't measure it, but that's an, on an average. It's definitely around 6 inches, so. Very nice figure. Very cool looking. Definitely perfect for a bad guy. I like the treads on the feet. That's fantastic. Pig holes for the stand. Looks very, very nice. Let's take a look at the articulation and range. Uh, heads on ball joint. It will rotate 360. Just got to get around the collar piece. Uh, hinge. It does look up, but it kind of hits the back of that. 
down. Of course, you can remove that. This vest is removable. Up, down, side to side a little. Arms rotate 360. They go up, and there's a butterfly joint. You can see the butterfly joints. I don't know why they painted the butterfly joints a different color than the uh, pieces that are shown. Because this really, it's like you got a black shirt, black arm, and you got the butterfly joints a different color. Really? Makes, makes no sense. Just laziness, in my opinion. Bicep swivel 360 here, all the way around. Double jointed elbow. Fantastic. We have the fist hand. You have the in and out like this. 360 rotation on the hands also. There's the joints. And for this one, is the same. I really wish you can get the, you know, the up and down and the in and out on one or the other hands. Gives you better options for posability. There's chest articulation underneath the vest. Side to side. Back and forth. 360 at the waist. I'm not going to do that. I need to heat it. Looks pretty good so far. Now for the lower half. Most important in my opinion is the sitting. And he sits. He nails it. Love it. Great. Splits. Awesome. Could be a martial artist. Some nice high kicks. Very good. Splits this way. Pretty good. Obviously you get the butt here. And the back. Kind of stops what we're looking for here. We got the thigh cuts. This one's kind of stuck a little. Got to heat that up some more. Pretty good. Okay, for the legs, we have double jointed um, knees, which is good. Make sure you heat these. These are super stiff. Mine's nice and warm since so I just heated them. Remember to heat your fingers. Don't break your investments. Feet pivot down. Pivot up. Got the rocker and there's a boot cut that's stuck. See, does this one work? It does not. There we go. Boot cut. And I think this rotates 360 around the waist, maybe. Around the ankle, I should say, not the waist. And it'll, it, it will go if you want it. I don't recommend it. There's no point in it. Once you got the rocker to a certain degree, that's all you really need. Very cool figure. Here we go. If he wants to go one on one with somebody with a nice fist of cuffs. Very, very cool. So let's go to the hands real quick because I need to swap them on anyway. Here's our covering hand. And make sure you heat them up. You swap out your hands. Here's another gripping hand. So it's two hands extra. Here we go. One more hand. Nice padded green. All matches. Pretty cool. So what do we got to? We got five hands. We have this little baggy that was behind the figure. Three more hands, which is just eight hands total. Here we have this hand. Another coupling hand. Pretty cool. And the last hand is just another gripping hand. All right, for this armament, I went ahead and went with the trigger hand and the coupling hand for obvious reasons. Here we go. The pistol looks incredible. I love the silver and black grip. Fantastic. Drug barrel for some blast effects. Get that. Cool. And then take his hand. Let's see how well he holds it. Hands are decent, very nice, perfect fit. Here we go. Cowboy holds that. This is a cool figure. This is really a cool figure. Very, very, very cool. Hard to keep these guys in frame because they're six inches to the I'm used to the 118 skull guys. So uh but we get it nonetheless. It's gonna when they weren't about this pistol if uh that's painted or not. More than likely it's is. We're gonna have to be careful paint rubs. Pistol right into that craze. Fits very snugly. Is that a word? Snugly? Pretty cool. Looks great. Very, very nice. Next up, we have his blade. This is pretty sweet. Love the handle sculpt. Black. This housing is a blade type is black. We have this silver sharp razor edge. This looks very nice. The shredded there. Some blood letters, maybe. Very cool. Let's see how he holds this. Do some damage. Might be a better hand for this, but I'm gonna keep swapping on hands because I usually just don't use the extra hands. 
Yeah, you're going to need to swap out a better hand. This is more of a trigger figure and you have a tighter fit, but it can stay pretty good with that. But it's not as tight as you would like. Very, very cool. Okay, very menacing. And of course you get that really cool combat positioning. And when you're not using this massive blade, there is a case on the back. You might have noticed and it should fit. It's kind of snug and you get in there, I'm afraid to bend it. Yeah, that's really tight. This is, oh, there's a little cut right there, look at that. And then it kind of goes solid. Give you some room for angle maybe. Is that what he's going for? Not sure, can't get it in. Don't want to break it, so you get the idea. You just be careful there. It may be a trick to that because of the shape of the knife, but best as I can tell, that's not going anymore. So I'll take that out of there for now. And I'll also look at that for my own personal preferences. So, but still cool, and we'll just have to be careful there. Here we have his uh, saw rifle, black. Love it. Get a little bit green there. Looks very cool. M203 grenade launcher. Gun metal clips are, are removable. Very, very nice. Nice uh, tolerance. Really tight. So it stays in there. Takes a little effort to get out, but okay. M203 and the business end of the rifle is all drilled out for blast effects. Very nice. And as I mentioned before, can get that out of the way. He comes with two additional clips. I'm just gonna pull one out because it's already they're the same thing. It's the same thing as in the, the gun itself. So you have three magazines, so that's really cool. Hopefully we don't lose any of those. Those small parts are definitely prone to being lost. Let's get and get a look at this uh saw rifle in his hand. Okay, this is really tricky, I guess. Pops out. Yeah, see that finger kind of just goes wherever it wants to. Gotta get these fingers up and out of the way. I've gotta be careful, we don't want any kind of uh, great, uh, like you know, like your G.I. Joe guns, you get those vintage ones that has those stress marks in the plastic or is uh, friction marks, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to get this outside the camera. Maybe, maybe, maybe I got it. Ooh, ooh maybe I did. Ah, oh, pretty close. Pretty, oh yeah, just a little, little tab. We got it. Okay, there he is. Out the door. One hand. Sorry, it looks. I think this is a great gun for him. It, Definitely makes him look really awesome. Okay, can we get that hand? I put the coupling hand on here on purpose so we can see if we get that two-handed wield, which I know we can. Just, yeah, there we go. It's just a matter of getting the right joints to function for us. And I gotta try to get back. This is kind of too big in my opinion. The trigger for the uh, M203 grenade launcher. Wasting too much time on this, so but there you go. You know you can get it. Looks super awesome. Very nice. Let's you add some blast effects to that. I think would be pretty good. Oh, yeah, well, I guess it's a little tricky to get them to shorter that while double coupling, unless I'd probably just have to find a way to fine tune it. I'm trying to do it through a camera for you guys to see, but there you go. That's pretty decent. All right, there he is with his ugly mug. So this is probably the part you're most uh, wanting to see. This is going to top off his head with this incredible bone mask with the fangs. That's pretty awesome. So that's good. Probably want to heat that up a little bit. Mine seems to be okay. Mine's okay. 
it's a good fit it really is you can see that the eyes actually come through the skull whole eyes because a lot of times those companies just don't pay attention to tolerance they give you something really cool but this is off centered i think they measure this perfectly well, that's menacing this is probably one of the biggest thing was the selling point for this figure was this amazing mask one thing i love about this mask not only the sculpt and the color the white with the gray dry brushing is that they used he didn't make it a skull mask or slash helmet they actually put straps on this thing gives you a jason Voorhees look from the back you know look at that you wouldn't even know it was on a hockey mask if you see that that's that's fantastic that looks so dangerous i don't know what to say i just think that was a great feature instead of a you know a full piece of a skull that's great very very cool <laughs> he looks fantastic finishing out the accessories we do have this very nice steel looking diamond plated action force stand it is quite large we have four pegs in it for different positioning that you would like for posability, which is great. We have options. Here's the back of it. Oh no, made in China. Uh, we have this slit here. This is for a file card. I don't recommend that on any figures because that is you're mashing basically cardboard in, two, in between two pieces of plastic and this is going to tear it up over time. So, but it's your toy. Do what you want with it. Yeah, very cool. Has a stand. Awesome. A couple of small comparisons just because they're handy. Here we have the uh, Infantry Commando Evaluverse.com exclusive. Pretty awesome looking figure, too. So I highly recommend both these figures. If you can find them, um, they're both on a high popularity list of Valivers. Like you got this guy, uh, the Infantry Commando, and Bone Collector, and was that Carrick? Those are like one of the top three figures that are hard to get so there it is one thing i found interesting about just did a review for version two snake eyes how kind of short he is so i'm going to compare some with the judge are classified so the guy's a little short that's not too bad and we'll give him the boot and then we'll bring in timber because i think he looks fantastic with that uh I think Carrick needs, an, oh, I'm sorry, Carrick, the bone collector needs, uh, needs a pet, a wolf, or some kind of awesome majestic animal. I think it'll look very cool, but nice comparison at least. The snake eyes, you know, he's not going to let that happen. That's his baby. Timber's his boy. So there you go. Hope you guys like this review. Um, please hit the thumbs up for me. Please subscribe. Help out the channel if you can. Uh, comment down below what you think. If you have one. Whatever you want to say. We'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next review.